Hey everybody, uh, this is Zork65, and I'm doing a vlog thanks to Panda. She's uh, she's on camera detail today. Hello. And uh, basically, we're going to cover a couple pieces that I did uh, during the semester, which is kind of like why I had to take that two-week hiatus uh, from making videos on YouTube. But I still wanted to show you guys, you know, the stuff that I've been doing. So I guess uh, we'll start off over here. Uh, this is one of the early pieces. This is actually one of the first, class, uh, first ones I had finished. Um, it is a self-titled piece called... Uh, the true self-portrait of the awkward greeting. Uh, basically, I modeled it after my uh, smile. It's, uh, it's supposed to be kind of gnarly and awkward. Um, we've got basically, this is done with plywood, cardboard, and sawdust along with the spray paint and such. Now, there's a little bit of damage here, here, and here. I'm just going to be going back and touching those up again. Uh, this has already received its grade, sadly. Uh, it only got, like, I think, a B-plus or something on it, but um, took a lot of work, a lot of time and effort into it. Um, but I based it off of uh, the awkward social greeting that everybody has to go through. It's like, eh, do I know you kind of thing? Uh, that sort of a approach to it. Uh, these, basically, the teeth are modeled after different handshakes. There's the knuckle bump, uh, the basically the, the slap of the hand, and also the actual formal sh handshake. So it's like the different pieces of a greeting. So that's kind of how I came up with the concept for it. Uh, got accent marks and such, basically, for different parts of the fingers and such. Uh, you know, like knuckles. Um longer parts of the finger, basically solid shapes. And that was kind of the basis of that one. Um, it went over pretty well, I thought. Uh, it basically, it's a hanging piece. Uh, so basically, we're gonna go ahead and lift it up just for a second. It would hang on a wall like this. Uh, so it's kind of just a basic uh, installation piece that you just hang on the wall with a little plaque off to the side saying what it is. Uh, and this took probably three, four, five weeks maybe. Um, time, uh, time is not exactly on, on my side with this one. Uh, a lot of time management into it, but a lot of, I thought, pretty good results. So I guess we'll move on to the next one. Uh, this is probably uh, my favorite one I did during the semester. Um, this is a historiographic design, if the title was not obvious. Uh, basically, um, I modeled it after a Hollywood Walk of Fame star. I had to custom make a logo for uh, basically graphic design because they didn't exactly have one. The only categories they have are film. Music, television, uh, acting, and I believe the last one... I don't remember what the last one was, but it was not graphic design. What is it? Animation? No, I don't think it was animation. Uh, it basically, it's just basically people, you know, who had a huge cultural impact. But anyway, that's not the point. I had to still custom made it. Uh, got this laser printed at a uh, printing place. Um, not sure. I don't remember exactly where it is. Um, but basically, it's got sub-compartments in it. It's These are all... Uh, Small plaque pieces I got. Uh, basically, it's gonna have a, each person's name. There's uh, six artists uh, down on e basically on each of them. They're glued in a little bitty uh, compartment for each of them. It's a brochure. Basically, it tells you like what they've done, uh, what jobs and such they've worked on, uh, what their works and such are. This guy's Robert Brown John. He did a bunch of the intros for uh, uh, James Bond movies, uh, specifically uh, Goldeneye. No, I'm not sorry. Uh, Goldfinger. And uh, from Russia, from Russia with love, uh, and then on the back, I basically did another another movie. He did not do anything with Lord of the Rings. Just basically, I took a different movie and I did it in his art style, where I kind of superimposed stuff, uh, like uh, sort of took different layers and placed, like you know, the Ring of Mordor, or sorry, the the, the one ring from uh, Lord of the Rings <laughs> onto Frodo's face. So it's kind of that little detail, and every single one of these has like their own different. Um, uh, one I've got uh, John Henry Alvin. Probably the greatest uh, movie poster designer for uh, pretty much every movie possible. If you've seen a movie, you've probably seen his poster on it. Um, he did like E.T., Little Mermaid. If you saw a Disney one as a kid, that's, this is pretty much the dude that you, that you noticed it from. Uh, did The Wizard of Oz in his style. Uh, a lot of really good artists in here, in my personal opinion. I got, I got people ranging from uh, basically like Abram Games. He was a uh, propaganda poster artist for... Um, uh, the UK during World War II, a lot of uh, emotion that he had behind his and such, and I wanted to basically still keep uh, honest to like his propaganda thing, so I designed a Star Wars poster. Uh, it's really hard to see probably with this light, but there's a, a Death Star and also a, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and move it over here. We got a, like a Death Star right there and then also a Lord Vader um, kind of a, a piecing of uh, basically his uh, design on it. Um, it's it's just kind of a silhouette, I guess, of it, and it's just highlights and such. Um, then we have Saul Bass. He used did a lot of stuff for Alfred Hitchcock, uh, like uh, we got a Vertigo, 
He did a uh, anatomy of a an, uh, anatomy of a murder. Uh, I did a James Bond poster in his style. He loves sort of red solid shapes. A lot of really lo like a lot of work was put into this one. Uh, we have like Chip Kid. Uh, he designed the original uh, book art for. Um, that's a phone again. Somehow a phone winds its way in finds its way into my videos no matter what I do. I could unplug it and it'd still walk into the room and just find a way to mess me up. Uh, but he did the original uh, cover art for Jurassic Park, which is what, of course, inspired the Jurassic Park, you know, logo for the movies and such. And I did a uh, Iron Man uh, poster in his sort of style. That's my favorite one. Yeah, I worked really Honestly. hard on this. This just probably took me two hours, maybe, uh, just to make sure that all the line art was correct and such. And it, it looked pretty solid. Tell them what you used to make it. Hmm? What did you use to make it? Like Adobe Illustrator, okay. yeah. Just make yeah. sure they knew you did. Illustrator is pretty draw much the, by hand, really. Oh yeah, I did. If I did this by hand, I'd be insane. Um, but yeah, I basically took a couple silhouettes and such, and uh, kind of f figured out where the main curve lines and such for Iron Man is, and also got I found a pretty good human skeleton uh, that I thought reflected the similar posture to it, and I just basically cut those in half, and I re uh, I sort of. Uh, piece them together to kind of fit the proper uh, sort of posture for it. Originally the one I found the arm was actually way down closer to the hip like it was practically surgically attached so I had to kind of move stuff around here and there. Uh, but I thought it turned out pretty well. Uh, last one we have is uh, Paul Rams who is arguably the best and most profitable graphic designer who's ever lived. <laughs> the dude could spend literally half a year on a logo and make half a million dollars. It, it was just that guy was just so good at it. Uh, did a lot of corporate logos, loved solid shapes and uh, solid colors, and I thought I'd give a sh uh, shot you. This one will be hard to see because it's very similar, but uh, I did a Jaws logo, uh, a Jaws movie poster in reference to one of my favorite movies. Uh, but I thought I did a really good job with the solid shapes, getting the feel of the actual movie itself, uh, the finish, because you never really truly see the shark until about halfway through the movie. I wanted to keep that, like, that option still honest with the poster and such. But uh, this one was a, an entire semester-long uh, project. Uh, to spend about 13 weeks getting everything ready and just sort of tackling it piece by piece. And it turned out, in my opinion, really well because I got an A in the project. So thumbs up for that. Um, beyond that, none of my other projects really kind of uh, compared to these two uh, because mostly either A, they're digital, which I don't have physical stuff to show you with that such. And I might put in a couple pictures here and there of things I've worked on, but... Um, Beyond that, there's not really much else I can physically show you guys. Um, but if you do want to see like other stuff, like even smaller projects that I've worked on in during that, uh, just like my semester, feel free. Your self-portrait. Hmm? Oh yeah. It's well, actually in the camera. Is it really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so this if you want to talk about that. This is actually from uh, quite a while back, probably three or four semesters ago. I had to do a self-portrait with uh, me as the main character and also uh, using a prop, and I found one of my uh, RB replica. What is a self-portrait? A self-portrait. Is a portrait of me. So then, why did you say self portrait with me I is have the to topic? To some people, not everybody knows those terms, Panda. There could be four year olds watching my channel. I feel sorry for you, but um, I'm impressed. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it took me probably a couple twenty hours or so just to get everything I wanted to. I tried to make myself look a little bit older in it uh, because that's just how oil paint kind of naturally works. But I just still wanted to make myself look a bit, little bit more less of a baby face because. Uh, I think it was what I did it was stupid when I did it. Um, uh, I shaved shortly after taking one of the pictures. And like, I, I, I like trimmed it down too much, so I looked about 14 years younger than what this thing was supposed to be like, and I had to compensate for that, and it was a nightmare. <laughs> so one thing you always have to consider, people, is continuity. If you shave while you're still working on something and you're not supposed to, you have a problem. So always consider the ramifications of changing your face before you actually do it. Words of wisdom. The more you know. Yeah, the more you know. <laughs> I'm gonna put this back up. Cause I really like this one. I use it as my Skype photo. They go, oh, that guy looks dignified. That they learn very quickly that I'm not dignified at all. Uh, but beyond that, there's really not much else I was really super into, like uh, working on. I mean, there was poetry and such um, that I was working on for basically a writing class. There was a a uh, couple papers I wrote for medieval literature, but beyond that, there wasn't really much else I was working on. So uh, if you guys want me to show other stuff, just tell me, and I'll do my best to get show, give you guys extra things to look at, like what uh, what does a graphic designer do? I mean, this is pretty much it. Just a lot of extra stuff that uh, 
like a lot of creating your own art and such, uh, assembly with other works. I mean, I've also got some animations and such that I did for a fake company. Uh, I've also got um, a commercial that I did. It was probably not my best work, but it's also not supposed to be professional grade. I mean, I'm do I did my best with what I had. I also don't have, you know, hundreds and thousands of dollars to drop on stock image and voice actors. So it's just kind of uh, a mismatch of training montages. So. Uh, but beyond that, I mean, I'll probably put that one in at the very end if you guys want me to, uh, or actually, no, I'm going to put it in there whether you want it to or not, because it's really weird to ask you if you want it or not, and then later on put the video in. So. Say Twitter. Yeah, I'll, I'll, hmm? I was say, ask them on Twitter. Ask them on Twitter? I might do that. I mean, this video is going to be going up probably Tuesday, so it, it just kind of depends. So, like tomorrow. Yeah, I had to, I had to calculate that. <laughs> yeah, it's tomorrow. Uh, so I pr I'll probably put the video in. Uh, I might cut this entire section out where we're just like basically discussing whether or not I'm going to do that. Uh, but anyway, if you guys want to see more, tell me. Leave a comment. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. I like doing vlogs and such. I just don't really find a lot of time to do them. Uh, but anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. She said bye. <laughs>